All right, everybody, it is broadhead day. Shooting those same serious Phoenix bolts. We've got some 150 grain right bevel cutthroats. We've got some 150 grain Magnus Stinger two blades. And we've got some 125 grain uh, Magnus Black Hornet Sir Razors. So this is what we have to play with. We do have one 100 grain uh, three blade wasp broadhead too that we can play with, but we really wanna try to get these crossbows dialed in with one of these three. All right, first broadhead, we're gonna try 125 grain Black Hornet Sir Razor out of the Ripper 415. This is at 20 yards. All right, Chad was aiming at the tape. Not too shabby. So we're gonna try 30 yards now with it and see if anything changes. Nice. All right, here's 30 yards. Still good left to right, just a little bit low. All right, so 30 yards again, two, or sorry, 125 grain Sir Razor uh, Black Hornet. At 30 yards, Chad's gonna shoot a different dot on his reticle on this one. All right, so shooting the different dot on that reticle is almost dead on. Um, it's just a tweak high. And then Chad's 20 dot on the reticle was just a little bit high too with the broadhead. So we're gonna just adjust his scope down just a little bit and see if we can get both of those in on that tape. All right. All right, I'm filming you, Chad. All right, so here's where we're at with the Ripper 415 the Sirius Phoenix Bolt, and the 125 grain Black Hornet Serrazor. So we've got Chad shooting pretty much dead on. Uh, this is at 30 yards, and right next to it's a field point. So you guys will see Chad was aiming at the center dot with the field point. So those broadheads are flying, I don't know, three and a half, maybe four inches low, but left to right is good. They're flying true, they're just flying a little bit heavy. So I guess just know that if you guys are gonna go with a fixed blade out of a crossbow, uh, you might have to tweak your scope just a little bit because that broadhead might fly just a little bit heavier than your field point. All right, moving back to 40 with the Ripper and the 125 grain Sir Razor Black Hornet. Nice. I don't know about you guys, but that at 40 yards with a fixed blade broadhead out of a crossbow is pretty dang good. All right, the first shot of that PSE Invictus because it was shooting the 150 grain field points perfect as well. We're gonna try the 150 grain cutthroat single bevel. I'm ready. Spot. all right also not bad and i actually did not adjust my scope yet for the 150 grain point in this bolt and when i shot that first field point it was low as well so this is pretty much right where my field point was and i can shoot that if you guys want to see that here just to show you that it's the same ready when you are okay All right, here's 30 yards. Still good left to right, just a little bit low. All right guys, here is the cutthroat 150 grain single bevel out of that PSE Invictus. So broadhead, um, so we're gonna tweak the scope a little bit, but while it's close to that tape, I also wanted to shoot a field point. So it looks like both of them, I gotta move over just a touch to the right, but we're probably about two inches, maybe two and a half inches high compared uh, to the broadhead. So not bad at all, especially for, you know, if you guys have thought about um, single bevel broadheads 
I don't think a lot of people think about them as a crossbow broadhead, but these things are shooting really well. I mean, the arrow flight is good. Um, you just might have to adjust your scope a little bit because the broadheads are shooting a little bit heavier. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it does seem like it's about the same. All right, so here's where we're gonna stop tonight. So we got the Ripper 415 dialed in. Here's where we're at at 40 yards with the PSE Invictus shooting that 150 grain uh, single bevel cutthroat broadhead. So we're not far off. I'm playing with both my elevation adjustment as well as my speed ring. And when I get this dialed in, I'm gonna recheck it again at 20 and 30 yards. All right, everybody, sorry I didn't get a chance to wrap things up the other night. Um, we just ran out of daylight and the mosquitoes were just killing us. So I guess what we learned is uh, two very different crossbows. One I would call a high speed bow in that Ripper 415, and one I would call an average speed bow with that PSE Invictus uh, 370. Um, with the Sirius bolts and two very different broadheads, the Magnus Black Hornet Sir Razor 125 and then a Cutthroat 150 single bevel broadhead. They both shot great. Um, we didn't see any erratic bolt flight at all. We didn't have any left to right issues shooting either of them. The only thing that we saw, which is pretty common, and honestly, we kind of expected it, um, was that the point of impact of the broadhead was a little bit lower than the field point. They were just shooting a little bit heavy. That Killer Instinct one, we didn't have to adjust much. Um, we got that bow set up with that Black Hornet really really nicely out to 40 yards so that setup i think we're going to keep i don't think we're going to tinker with that one at all anymore and the uh cutthroat out of the psc bow we've got that dialed in really well the 30 and the 40 we're still playing with a little bit and i honestly just think that's nothing with the bow the bolt the broadhead the speed ring on that scope is set up a little bit different the reticle is a little different than the killer instinct one and i just kind of got to find the sweet spot of adjusting the speed ring uh, combined with adjusting the elevation on the scope. So based on the way the bolts are flying though, I have no problem or all the confidence in the world um, with that setup and being able to get it dialed into 40 yards. So I'm sorry we didn't play more with different broadheads and different setups. We kind of just picked our favorites and started with that and they flew fine. Um, and we're totally fine with a little bit of a low impact and having to adjust the scope a touch to shoot broadheads. So. All in all, man, those Sirius bolts are the real deal, you guys. Check them out if you haven't already, SiriusArchery.com. They're the 22-inch Phoenix bolts. We love them. We're going to keep shooting them. And I've got a new crossbow on the way that we are going to do some of this exact same tuning with. We'll shoot stock bolts as well as the Sirius ones out of that and see how that brand new bow does. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.